Welcome back, Pioneers. My name is Monaco Perez. And I'm Fatima Puente. Thank you for tuning in to our first episode of Season 2 of Agents of Force. Now, let us pledge allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Senior Info Night will take place on Wednesday, September 13th at 6 o'clock p.m. in FAC. It is very important that you and your parents attend. Juniors, the PSAT will be given on Wednesday, October 13th. If you're interested in taking the test, please purchase it at the ASBO for $16. The last day to purchase is September 20th. If you receive free or reduced lunch, please show proof to Ms. Nishimura to receive a free exam. College night will be held on September 20th at 6 o'clock p.m. Come meet with Cal State, UC, private or out-of-state schools, and more. You will also have the chance to win free gear and scholarships. Students, you can win the $20,000 Coca-Cola scholarship if you apply by October 31st. Students, remember to wear college gear on Tuesdays and avid gear on Wednesdays. Now, let's have a look at this week's latest ASB news. Staring at two different views on your You want to join a club? Because I do. Come to Club Rush on September 12th in the quad during homeroom. See you there. Thank you, ISB. We'll be right back with sports right after the break. Welcome back. Water polo is now in season. Let's have a look at what Coach Whitaker has to say. Hi, my name is Mrs. Whitaker and I am the water polo and swim coach here at Artesia High School. Where am I looking, by the way? If you look at me. At you? Yeah. The most challenging part is coordinating all of the logistics, so with the other schools and the bus and making sure everybody is where they need to be at the right time and this year with our pool being under construction we're practicing at a different school so just getting everything coordinated is the most challenging aspect. I don't know. They all have moments. They all have moments. In season the players tend to be really good. Out of season they get a little squirrely but it's okay. Absolutely. I don't want to see any of my kids get hurt. It depends on how you grade good. I don't necessarily look at wins and losses because our players come from a totally different background than a lot of teams we play. Um, I think our kids will be able to overcome the adversity of our pool situation and they will grow leaps and bounds um, like they do every year. 
but in terms of wins and losses, it, you know, it's probably going to be a struggle this year. Marie Hernandez, as you can see right here, Mae East, yeah, that's me. Yes. Yeah, all right, so let's get into the sports schedule of this week or the following week. So, for go girls' golf schedule, Monday, September 11th, Pioneers versus Mesa. Tuesday, September 19th, Pioneers versus Cerritos. Wednesday, September 20th, Pioneers versus Valley Christian High at Rio Hondo. Thursday, September 21st, Pioneers at versus La Mirada. Thursday, September 29th, 28th, my bad, Pioneers versus Valley Christian. Girls Tennis, Monday, September 18th, Pioneers versus Mayfair. Wednesday, September 20th, Pioneers versus Bellflower. Uh, cross Country, Friday, September 8th, Pioneers at Rosemead Invitational. Saturday, September 23rd, Pioneers at Billy York Invitational. Uh, girls Volleyball, uh, Girls Volleyball, Tuesday, September 12th, Pioneers at Mayfair. Thursday, September 14th, Pioneers at Bellflower. Saturday, September 15th, P Varsity Pioneers at Valley Christian Tournament. Uh, Tuesday, September 19th, Pioneers vs. Cerritos at Artesia High School. Thursday, September 21st, Pioneers vs. La Mirada at Artesia High School. Water Polo. Tuesday, September 19th, Pioneers vs. La Mirada at Artesia High School. Tuesday, September 26th, Pioneers vs. La Fuente. Well, uh, oh, there you go. Varsity football schedule, Friday, September 15th, Pioneers vs. Gar at Artesia High School. Friday, uh, September 22nd, Pioneers vs. Uh, Fountain Valley at Artesia High School. Friday, September 29th, Pioneers vs. Bellflower at Artesia High School. I want to say congrats to the varsity football team for winning yesterday. Or I think the score was like 40 to like 27, but I know we won, so that's the best thing. Oh, um, what do you call it? Oh, now let's start. Now let's look at last week's highlights. First things first, I'm gonna say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. Oh, ooh, the way that things have been. Oh, ooh. second thing, second, don't you tell me what you think. A young age taking my soak into the masses writing my poems for the few that look at me took to me shook at me feeling me singing from heartache from the pain taking my message from the veins speaking my lesson from the brain seeing the beauty through the well, that's all we have for sports coming up we have a segment on hurricane harvey and a new episode of Pioneer Trails after these messages. Good morning, my name is Mr. Cruz. This is my second year here at Artesia High School. Well, every year is always a brand new year and we anticipate great changes, meaning increasing the amount of students that graduate and the students that are accepted to colleges. Well first you have to let the kids know that you're connected and you bought in 100 percent. That means the teachers, that means the, the students, that means the staff members, that means the custodian, that means everybody is bought in and feels connected. The graduating class, I would say to them, the best of luck. Everything that you see that you can reach and it, that is attainable, you can reach it. You can get there and you can be successful. Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Harvey. was the story of the summer. Here's a segment shedding a light on this tragedy brought to you by Tenzin Armenta. Hello, my name is Max. And my name is Melanie. And we're here with the HS Report. Two weeks ago, Hurricane Harvey made landfall in Texas late Friday night as a Category 4 hurricane. 
It was the deadliest storm to hit the U.S. in more than a decade. Hurricane Harvey will potentially cost $160 billion in damages and repairs. This is equal to the combined costs of Hurricanes Katrina and Sandy and represents a 0.8% economic hit to the gross national product. At least 9,000 to 10,000 people have been rescued in the Houston region by first responders. Volunteers said that they have helped as many as 400 in one day. Hurricane Harvey has been a disastrous event. That being said, the response from the entirety of the United States has been truly amazing. We understand that we are all in this together, no matter what race or socioeconomic status. Celebrities have even been challenging each other on who could donate more. Volunteers have amassed in tens of thousands. No matter what, Texas, you are in our thoughts. You will get through this. I'm Max. And I'm Melanie. Back, Back to, to you, Anchors. anchors. Hi, this is Abby Herrera, and you're watching Pioneer Trails. Out of all your teachers, which did you miss the most this summer? Kemper. Miss Santos. Miss Santos. Uh, I miss Miss Santos and Miss Chaffins a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. They were really cool teachers. Um, they helped me get to the school year, and they never gave up on me. They made me believe in myself, so yeah, I really missed them a lot. Miss Lamore. Why? Because she was mean to me. <laughs> What is one fun thing you did this summer? Oh, I went to school. I went to Dominguez for six weeks because I had summer bridge and I met new friends. Pretty fun. I don't know. Honestly, maybe camp for ESB. I don't know. When you started high school, did you think it was going to be like High School Musical? No. <laughs> I honestly did. Like, no, I know I'm interrupting you, but I love High School Musical. Uh, I think kind of, but I just knew like we wouldn't freak out in dances or songs. What are your goals for this school year? My goal for this school year is to get my diploma and graduate and just have as much fun as I possibly can for being a senior. If you could change any of your classes, what would you change it to? I'd probably go. I'd change. If I could change Spanish, I would change it to like sports or something. I'd probably change one of my classes to. Uh, that about wraps it up for our first episode of HS Report. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Monaco Perez. And I'm Fatima Puente. We'll see you guys here again on Thursday. Stay classy, Artesia.